Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. This is going to be a real quick video. I'm making a prop for our church's Easter egg hunt that takes place next week and they asked me to make a basket. So the theme is um, hot air balloons and a basket and like rising up for Jesus or something like that. But anyway, they asked me to make a photo prop of a basket that looks like it would go at the bottom of a hot air balloon but you could easily make this like an Easter basket. So what I have done, I took two by fours and cut it into strips and assembled a frame um, using pocket holes and I'll get a shot of that. And then what I did was cut strips. I have a, a tool called a drywall ax that lets you measure and cut um, consecutive strips that are even, but you could just take a knife, make sure you wear a glove um, and, and something like a straight edge and cut your strips. So I am weaving it currently right now and it's turning out really cute. And so I thought I'd do this YouTube video because I anticipate that a lot of people are gonna say, how did you do that? So anyway, I'm gonna get some close up shots and give you some measurements. The first thing I did, I used probably about four or five two by fours that I had on hand. They weren't full length. I think they were only like five feet high, four or five feet high. But what I did was ripped them first into thick strips that are about, these pieces are an inch and a half and then uh, by one inch. And then I took two by fours and cut thinner strips that I would use vertically. And those are about three quarter inches um, by an inch. Okay, so that's what I used to build the base. And I used pocket screws, pocket holes. I ended up using regular screws because the Craig screws are more expensive and I didn't want to have like $15 worth of screws put into this thing that I, they're probably gonna throw away or burn afterwards. So I'm gonna get a couple close-up shots. Um, I wasn't sure how many strips or like how thick to make these pieces of cardboard, which as you can see here, I cut, I started making them five inches and then found that it was hard to weave it back and forth. So I ended up making them about, um, so these are two and a half inches. So I took those pieces that I originally cut into five inches with, cut them down into about two and a half seems good because you can weave it back and forth and not get a lot of creases um, in it. Now I was lucky enough, I had these great big boxes. These are from uh, a website called Brick and Seal. Dot com. They are nice, huge cardboard boxes that you use like to ship artwork or things that are of that nature, oversized things. So I was lucky enough, they're partners of mine, and I did have great big boxes that I was able to open and cut into strips. But if you don't have access to that, well, actually, you could probably go to recycling and maybe get some big boxes or even, I know at party stores, they have cardboard that's kind of uh, rippled that comes in rolls. So anyway, this is what I used. I used great big oversized boxes. So this is where I'm at right now and I'm gonna get some close-up shots so you can see. Okay, so here's the frame that I made and it is attached actually underneath with pocket screws and I used glue too, but those are just butt joints with pocket screws. And then see how I'm starting to weave it back and forth. I'm using hot glue. And with each pass, like that's hot glued, that one's hot glued, hot glued. And then I'm probably going to finish off these rough edges with some type of nice cardboard. I don't know. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I kind of like that the wood's showing through. Um, I, you know, again, this is just a photo prop. It's not gonna be in anyone's living room. Okay, so the pieces that I cut here um, is four feet. So you're gonna need two pieces that are four feet. And then these sides are 24 inches. So these sides are 24 inches. So you're gonna need four pieces that are 24 inches. And the reason I made it this size is because they anticipate that families are gonna wanna use this as a place to take pictures. So I had to kind of figure uh, you know, like a couple adults in there, maybe a couple kids clamored in here. And I also didn't want to make anything where when they walked into it, that they would trip over it. So I guess the worst that they could do is lean on this. Um, let's hope that nobody does that and breaks it. Here's a shot of the 
pocket holes, as you can see, pocket hole up there. And then underneath there, there was a pocket hole. Again, I used regular screws just because of the expense of the screws. But here's a shot of the inside. But all you do is start, you alternate. Start on one of the sides and then you just start wrapping and then you alternate and make sure that you hot glue along the way because it'll make, make it. Oh, and also one thing, um, I'm making sure that it's nice and flush with each pass. So this will be like this. So I'm making this rest on the previous row and it, it, it's kept everything pretty nice and straight. Okay, so here's one thing that I'm going back and correcting. I um, really wish that I, I wouldn't have done this. I just kind of slapped on where one ended and one began. And then after I was like, why am I doing that? So I'm going back and correcting that. What I'm doing is making my connections behind each vertical slat because it just overall is a better finished product. And I'm kind of mad at myself because Look, I'll have to go back and correct that. There's probably about six of them that I'll have to correct. So any connections I am now making behind each slat, it just overall looks way better. So I'm probably about uh, four rows from the top. I need a break though, and I need to cut some more. And then I think what I'm going to do, I don't want to leave just this raw wood like that. I will probably take cardboard and finish off maybe some kind of a nice cap piece but this is all you do. It's just, it's very time consuming, but it isn't like it's hard. It just takes time. I just realized after filming this that I did not talk about these thin strips like I should have. So there are 11 of them total. I was filming a TikTok, so it's in the wrong format and it's a time lapse, but there are 11 of them. For these corner braces, I used the same thickness as I did um, up here. I used more of these pieces for the corners. But then there are 11 of these thin strips spaced out at 8-inch intervals. And what I did was used a piece of uh, scrap wood to help to center them when I placed them. And I will include a quick shot of that. So each strip was cut at about 29 and three quarters inches in height. And then the overall height, including the top and the bottom, is 32 inches. Okay, I am all finished. I ended up putting trim along the top here. And then I didn't like the raw edges of the cardboard. So I went and got rope that I had. This is actually like a clothesline rope that I got at Dollar General, I believe. So it ended up taking, how many rows? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 full rows. And then I ended up with this dinky little section here that's about like a one inch, but it actually, I think it looks proportionate. It all worked out, looks really good. I corrected the mistakes I made in the beginning. Make sure that you hide any connections behind the vertical slats. It just looks so much more cohesive. And I think that this will be great. I will try to include some shots of it. Oh, there's my cat. I will try to include some shots of it at the actual Easter party with the backdrop. Oh, Daniel, will you go get in there too? So I hope you found this video helpful. If you don't follow me already, I hope that you will. You might come on here and see a tool review, a DIY project, it might be a craft thing kind of a Jill of all trades. So I hope that you will follow me. I'm on Instagram and TikTok and all the major platforms. I thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.